Oh, that was actually terrifying. The famous Italian alpinist Emilio Camici, he left many routes bearing his name across the Dolomites, but it's this one on the Tre Cima that everyone knows about. The first line to climb the 550 meter north face it was put up over three days in 1933 and it made mountaineering history. Today the Kamichi route is perhaps the most famous and popular big wall route in the Dolomites and one of the more amenable of the six great north faces of the Alps. The quality of the climbing is sensational, the memorable positions and exposure, the history, and because of this, the route has justifiably achieved legendary status. There's two technical crooked of grade seven. That's about English E36A or French 6B+, but in situ pegs make it easy to aid, and many parties do that. The route's around 16 pitches long and divides neatly into two contrasting halves. The first eight pitches are steep, sustained wall climbing and superb rock, and generally well protected by pegs. You want a rack of about 10 nuts, some small to medium cams, and 16 extendable quick draws and that'll allow you to run some of the shorter pitches together. You're gonna make it quite a hard move up. And you're pretty pumped. Yeah. Go Ben, go, 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 go. Yeah, beauty. Yeah, we've just finished um, all of the hard climbing. That was the, well, the main crux pitch actually, which right. Niall led beautifully. Dee -dee. Dee -dee. Yeah. Good it's hard. Yeah, it is hard. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's proper like, uh, it's just just sustained, it's really mm. strenuous, kind of awkward climbing up this overhanging, well, it's overhanging, it's perfectly steep groove. Yeah. And then you get to the top and there's, uh, uh, yeah. Slap in move. the face. Yeah, total last move, like, <laughs> But it's absolutely fantastic. Excellent. Really sensational. The second half of the route has a distinctly different character much more adventurous, on paper the grades ease off, but as much less fixed gear, route finding becomes more complicated, and things get harder as tiredness sets in. It's pretty easy to underestimate the time these pitches take, as you shift from swiftly clipping pegs to placing your own protection. Get caught in a storm, or benighted, an escape could become pretty complicated. The upper parts also home to the notorious corner pitches, often wet and slimy. Many people are put off climbing the Kamichi for a few days after rain because of these, but they are climbable, albeit at a wet grade five. Oh, it's not just wet, it's really cold and wet. <laughs> that was absolutely disgusting. It's not like it was just wet. It's wet and freezing. And slimy. And slimy. And gungy. And gungy. And scary. <laughs> no, I'm glad I wasn't leading that. I arrived here after that disgusting two pitches and found this sort of site. It looks like a tramp lives here. And I don't want to disturb his stuff. It's a nice coat, plastic bag to keep warm at night, some underwear and a, and a bit of water. I think someone spent the night here. I think so. Yes. Somebody not very well prepared for it either. The final noteworthy pitch is the Traverse. This is an airy trip across the lip of a roof with space gear and loads of exposure. <laughs> that was actually terrifying.
Most parties don't continue to the summit, but finishing the rubble-strewn terrace known as the Ring Band, this provides an awkward, exposed scramble around to the descent route on the south side of the mountain. The descent's long and complicated, it takes between two and three hours and it's got lots of abseils. It's pretty well equipped with ring bolts, but you'll need a good topper to find them. It'll also of course be much harder in poor weather or darkness and it's not unusual for late parties to choose an uncomfortable bivvy on the ring band over getting lost at night in the complex south face of the Sima Grand. It's hard to say when the, when the climb ends. The climb ends when you're having a beer, when you're eating some dinner, when it's in the past. It's definitely not in the past now. This video seeks to give you an insight into what's involved in climbing the Kamichi. But I can't give you everything. You'll find more useful information on the fact file page at the end. But bear in mind, none of this should be taken as gospel. Go and find your own experience on one of the greatest routes in the Alps. Mm -hmm.